needed a minute of tech. You know where I was? I was over on Core TV. I mean, I didn't leave. I was just here at the computer. Um, and so that's what happened. Uh, so here we go. All right. Girl Scout motto, be prepared. Yeah, I'm not prepared. I was so busy doing live television and producing my videos for Local Now today that all of a sudden I looked at the time and went, wow. May 1st is your son? No, I'm April 30th. Close. We're almost birthday buddies. Uh, hi, Winnie. My partner shows love. Uh -uh. My partner shows love through physical touch, but I show it through acts of service. Uh oh, it's gone. Hi, Lysandra. How are you? Uh oh. Acts of service. I've voiced to him that I would like him to do some acts of service, but nothing really comes from that. Okay, so here's the thing. Let me see if I can get it scrolling again. The thing is, when I stop and go backward, they're still scrolling again. So, you know, this, this whole book, Love Languages, and we all have our love languages, um, it hasn't been scientifically proven. It was a Christian counselor who wrote the book. Okay, fine. But this seems to make a lot of sense, doesn't it? Um, I will say this, that we should never be trying to get our partner to do something. All we can control is ourselves and our reaction to them. Why not spend some time focusing on what they do do for you, how they do show their love, instead of feeling emptiness and a void for what they don't do? I think we would all do better if we appreciated the good stuff in our partners. All right. If you have any relationship questions, let me open up the comments over here. There's someone from Long Island. Hello. Um, you guys tell me where you're watching from. It's always fun to see where you are in the world. Um, I do this for 15 minutes every Wednesday before I go on my Patreon uh, Zoom room. I have a great Patreon group where you can find my articles and my podcast and meet with me live and send me messages. Yes, it is live, Dragon Fruit, live, drive live, live in Los Angeles, California. Um, Dragon X Fruit. Um, you're over on, oh, that Twitch thing. Cool. I didn't know a stream yard goes there. It does. I'm on all my social media at the same time. Uh, so if you have a quick relationship question, I'll be happy to answer. Reminder, I'm not a therapist. I'm a psychology professor. I've written three books on relationships, though, and did my dissertation on attachment theory. I am a little bit obsessed with the science of love. Hello, Monterey. How are you? I'm driving north tomorrow. I'm going to go right by you. Um, uh, Virginia Beach. I lived in Virginia Beach, Virginia once. See, my dad was Navy, right? Uh, and I went to Maury High. Uh, that's all I remember about it. I remember the beach. Uh, okay, question down here. I don't understand the question. My girlfriend said I was calculative because I didn't pick her up from the bus stop. She later apologized. Thoughts? Except the apology. That's what I'd say. That's what the thought is. Uh, I'm single in 66 in SoCal and I can't seem to meet someone to have a relationship with. Well, you got to keep at it and keep improving your own relationship skills. If you're not on the apps, you should be. People of all ages are. And you should think about who your targets are, right? Think about people who might be peers. Peers tend to be attracted to peers across the lifespan. Um, I want to go back. Uh, my boyfriend wants me to go have sex with other men and tell them about it. I hate him wanting that. Don't feel like love, is it? There are lots of ways to love, but sure doesn't sound like a good match for you two. Uh, of course, men like these ideas. It's, it's just, yeah, women don't. Okay, why is it not scrolling on Instagram again? Whenever I scroll back, I can't get it going up again. Uh, dating married men, thoughts. Uh, well, I, I, I just want to say that you did not make a vow, to, if you're the woman, to his wife. Um, he did. Uh, but it depends what you're looking for. If you're looking for a short fling, great. But the problem is it's all fun and games till somebody falls in love. And how do they fall in love? Because their brain gets hit by a neuro cocktail of hormones, neuro hormones. So what ends up happening is you start falling in love if you continue to have regular sex with somebody, especially if you're a woman, because it more often happens to women. Do you think men and women who are close can be platonic friends? Of course they can. I have lots of guy friends. Uh, hello, London. How are you? What time is it there? Tomorrow afternoon. Uh, Somebody says, my girlfriend comes from a lower socioeconomic status than me. Is this a big deal? It depends if it is to you. Uh, the question is, um, what did they learn in their life of lower social? Do they have different values? Uh, some people have a psychology of poverty even after they get money and they have trouble spending or, or being extravagant, etc. So I think the most important thing you want to talk about when you come from different social classes is what does it mean? How does it play out in how people behave in life? 
Yes, oxytocin, yum, yum, yum. My favorite cuddle hormone. Uh, next question, did they go by so fast? Oh, I'm gonna put your question up on the screen, Dragon Fruit X, because it's nice to have a compliment. Sometimes we have bad days and it's just nice to hear some good words. Dragon Fruit says, I don't have any relationship questions, but at least I want to say you're gorgeous. <laughs> I hope you have an amazing day. If you only knew the big birthday I have coming up. Whoa. Uh, my boyfriend won't introduce me to his adult children. I hear that a lot. It's fascinating. They're afraid that the kids will reject them. Now, if they've just recently divorced, it does take time for kids to adjust to it because in their head, they still have this family of origin stuff. Um, but you want to ask them why. And you want to ask him when he's planning to do it. And you want to tell him that you're feeling excluded. Okay. Um, how can I have safe sex with my partner, but she claims I throw her pH off and no longer wants a relationship. I, how can, okay. So this is a question for a medical doctor. I have a PhD in clinical psychology, so I can't really answer those kinds of questions. Um, Sophie, of course, on YouTube. Do I think men and women can be platonic friends? Yes, but... They often are backup mates for each other. Come on, we all have backup mates. There's that person at work and you're thinking, oh, if it doesn't work out with my partner, maybe there's a chance, right? Everybody keeps backup mates. They do. Uh, do I recommend any online dating site? I recommend them all because it's not about the site. It's about knowing how to use the apps correctly. There are new dating styles. Like for instance, on Bumble, uh, when there's a match, the women have to talk first. So one technique for women, and after 24 hours, the match expires. If the guy's really into her, he can rematch. So to sift out those guys that are talking to 20 women at once on the app, what women often do on Bumble as a mating strategy is like they let the match expire and they see who rematches. If he has to make at least a little effort and rematch again, says he's really into you. It's a question that went by. Uh, most men date women. That are, I'm meeting women that are taller than me. So what? I mean, I'm tall. I date guys of every height. It's about the brain. We're all the same height when we're lying down. Just saying. Okay. I'm going to go. Here's what you should do. Come over to my Patreon. I'm about to go live in a zoom room in about 15 minutes. Um, so you go to Patreon, P A T R E O N patreon.com slash Dr. Wendy Walsh. We do a Wednesday night zoom room. Come on. You don't, have, if you're shy, you don't have to turn your camera on, but it's fun to meet everybody. Uh, it's wonderful to see you. And I hope you listen every Sunday to the Dr. Wendy Walsh show on KFI AM 640 Los Angeles. No matter where you are in the world, you can listen to my radio show by downloading the iHeartRadio app and searching Dr. Wendy Walsh. We're live every Sunday from 7 to 9 p.m., but you can listen to Dr. Wendy on demand. It's up there on the app anytime you want. So thank you so much, Dr. Wendy Walsh Show on KFI, or I'll see you in my Patreon Zoom room in a few minutes, patreon.com slash Dr. Wendy Walsh. Bye. Bye. Love you all. Okay, end it here.